how you guys doing today so what I want to show you uh, in this presentation is how to set up ads in Microsoft ads uh, promoting CPA offers uh, or affiliate offers however you would like to call it and also how to promote your own products or services too uh, when it comes into the Microsoft advertising platform it's not the hardest thing in the world to set up a campaign in here but you want to do it in a strategic manner where you get results so there's a lot of you guys that setting up campaigns but you're not capturing leads or sales alright so what I'm going to do is break this down in Google Docs right quick and there's going to be three, two to three tools you need. So you need tracking software. And the number one tracking software that I recommend, if you're starting out, preferably BMOB. Like right? just keep it, excuse me, keep it super simple. And then later on, once you start building up more revenue in your business, uh, you want to transfer over to volume. Okay. So start off with BMOB for now. Um, this is going to be a tracking platform that I prefer that you use and then later on as you gain some income you can switch over to volume okay so these will be the, the tracking platforms and tracking testing optimization so these are kind of like the main things that you, you're going to need okay and so when it comes into like testing so I'm going to give you an example of an offer here this is kind of like completely private, like private stuff. I'm going to give you an example of an offer that you can utilize. And so this one is in the rent to home niche uh, here. And as it go here, it should go over to a rent to home offer here. Okay. And so in order to test this properly, what we need to do is set up our campaign inside BMOB first and after we have our campaign fully set up in BMOB that's when we will set up the advertising campaign in Microsoft Ads alright so if you have your tracking link alright you are gonna wanna set that up first so just to go ahead and let's get started we're gonna log into BMOB right here right quick okay I think I got an account with them already I believe so let's log into BMOB okay so I have an account set up with them already and once you get to the dashboard it's gonna look like this this is not your affiliate platform this is only your tracking software so you want to have third-party tracking software we're not focusing on the affiliate platform we're not focusing on anything else the only thing we're focusing on is our tracking software all right a lot of times we don't even need to focus on the ad network the only thing we need to come back to the ad network to do is look at how much we spending um, per click our C average CPC our average CPM and then also um, you know to pay the actual advertising costs our bill our budget all right and so coming back over here inside the tracking software this is where you guys need to mainly focus to manage your campaigns like don't be focusing on all these other outlets and networks to manage your campaign stay with bmob or stay with volume and manage your campaigns inside volume of bmob primarily okay so i'm gonna go ahead and click this be but i don't have an uh i don't have a i don't have a campaign set up inside volume here um, but it's going to be very, very easy for me to show you inside BMOB right now. So the main thing you want to do with this is be able to track your keywords, your offers, and your your uh, ads and your landing pages. Okay, so like I said, I was going to open up a Google Doc here. Let's go ahead and get that open. Okay. Okay, so three things, three major important things needed is tracking, testing, op optimization. Okay, tracking, use EMOP. Okay. 
and you testing six different ads on Bing. Your tracking so your traffic software optimization is your LP, which is your landing page, or I can say LPs and stuff of that nature. Okay, it could be hosting. That's what we will be speeding up in the process there. Okay, so if you can write this down. It's very important. Uh, not most difficult thing in the world, but you have to be aware of this to be able to see the things. Okay. Okay, so inside and what we need to do this is off of a principle called the six two two principle. So I created this principle uh, a while ago because when I first started off uh, in CPA marketing, like affiliate marketing, uh, running ads and stuff, initially I was hammering my head against the wall just trying to slap an offer and just try to slap something together and over spending hundreds and thousands of dollars hammering my head against the computer um, I got stressful and it and one day I start to realize that there's a science to this and the science is very basic is is logic like it's not rocket science it's just logic thinking at the bottom of it I need to be testing six ads minimum right so that's the thing six ad creatives all completely different so so six ad creatives that's uniquely created two landing pages that's different or I could say that's uniquely created to also uh, and at least minimum two offers to test conversion rate all right so you need to be aware of this so that's basically the 622 principle is let me just put a line here to separate that as you need to have at least six different ads two landing pages two offers all right and the reason I came up with six ads is because if you have six uniquely uh, ads you'll be able to see exactly from six different angles which one works and which one doesn't work and since you do that you do six times two times two okay which equals up to be 24 right all right and what is where I'm getting this number 24 from is 24 variables of testing so you're gonna test 24 different angles and all this data is gonna be inside bmob so after we get set up inside bmob here you're gonna see 24 different variables inside here so we're going to create a campaign here shortly but you guys got to note this stuff down in order to be able to understand it so every variable needs to be spending whatever the offer payout is an example let's say offer one um, payout let's say three dollars right so let's say offer one payout is three dollars uh, offer two payout is let's say five dollars right and so what we would do is average and divide those two offers and so what's the average between those is actually four dollars so it's four dollars is the offer payout so I can say average offer Payout equals four dollars. All right, and so you multiply four dollars times twenty-four, and let's pull up a calculator here. And I think it's where is my calculator? There it goes. All 
and so you could say four times two four it's going to give us ninety six dollars total testing budget equals ninety six dollars for an average three dollar and five dollar offer all right so this is how we know whether our campaign is going to be profitable um, beforehand or not and so we actually can tally up exactly how many clicks we need uh, what our average conversion rate needs to be uh, with this data we can basically kind of see exactly is the campaign going to be profitable or losing and so if the average CPC uh, for this um, you know we need to know that you know let's say the average CPC is 15 cents right all right our average EPC that's the thing that what you kind of really want to compare all the time is your average EPC compared to your CPC your average EPC hopefully if it's network wide it be let's say 20 cents or let's say 30 cents now we know we're making profit like if our average EPC is 20 to 30 cents and the average CPC is 15 cents now we know we're making profit and this is how we were able to scale up our campaigns it's not initially looking at oh I'm getting paid out five dollars here or I'm getting paid out three dollars here well you can get paid out five dollars for an offer and make less money than the offer that's paying out three dollars and if the EPC if this EPC is let's say 20 cents and this EPC is 30 cents that means the conversion rate right here is 10 percent okay so that means one out of ten people is converting on this and that's kind of like what we want to shoot for sometimes so understand that like if you can understand your, your metrics um, is is far more easy to kind of like be able to know whether what's gonna what's gonna happen in your campaign and once we do that then we can go back over here and set up the campaign now. so let's go back inside bmob and let's click campaign oh campaigns all right and we're gonna click new here all right so we have a new campaign and now let's say um, search demo and the traffic source I'm gonna select Bing because that's the search campaign that we're gonna target uh, I'm not worrying about tags whatsoever uh, on that part and I'm, I'm gonna change the flow so I could do a cost model automatically or I could I select one of these here that's fine um, country I can leave it global because we want to test everything uh, flow is simple I'm going to do a billion flow so a billion flow is very simple uh, we want to do a 302 redirect if you do a double meta free refresh double meta if you do a meta or a double meta refresh it's just going to refresh the page twice um, which is cool I mean it's just how the traffic goes from the landing page to the offer all right so landing pages uh, in this case I don't think I have a landing page sync in here oh I do actually um, let's say I'm going to add a new landing page so I'll click add new and let's say this page here I've like given to you guys before this is the landing page so we're gonna copy this and want to paste it in there like that and we're going to say uh, rent to own LP1. Okay. And after we do that, then we can basically say, all right, we save this in here. Global, we leave the country global, we leave everything in there. Uh, no need to change anything else outside of that. So we can save that. Alright, so let's see here. 
Did it add? I don't know if it add in there. I don't think that's how LP just now because I just did it to home. So let's try it again right quick. All right, so we're gonna do rent to own LP one and select here save. I'm gonna reach. Oh, that's what it is. So I got landing pages inside this free account already. So we're gonna just use that for example. So I have an internet campaign already in here. We're gonna use that example. So LP1 is internet there. And then we're gonna add another uh, landing page to. Oh, I can't really do that. So basically, what we would do is we will add two landing pages and two offers. So now we come over here to offers and we can say uh, RT rent to own. Oh, I'm putting that in the wrong slot, put that right there. And then since I have the tracking link on the page, so I'm going to copy link. Okay, and we're gonna go over here, paste link right there. So I have the affiliate link right there. Okay, and so this post back URL, this will actually go inside your tracking, inside your affiliate network. So you will put this part inside your affiliate network. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but yeah, <laughs> okay. And so what we'll do here is we'll click save. Okay, uh, we don't want to add a new offer. We want to select an offer. Add offer, and let's say our resources. Just for the sake of the video, and put that offer right there. All right, and what we'll do there is going to click save, and now we have our actual tracking software. Now, finally, we can track all the data inside our campaign. So everybody that click on the tracking link, we're going to be able to see which keyword they're clicking on. We're going to see what device they're using. We're going to see where they're located. We're going to see which landing pages they're clicking on most. We're going to rotate the landing page. We're going to rotate the offers. Uh, now we'll be able to see exactly what's working and what's not working. OK, and every time a conversion comes in, we'll see exactly what keywords gave us the conversion, what landing page gave us that conversion, what offer gave us the conversion, and what ad, more, more importantly, what ad out of six ads, which of the six ads gave us that conversion. And so what we do is come over here and copy. Now it's time to set up the, the campaign. And also when it comes to your link on your landing page, so you will copy click URL here. All right, so you'll copy this. And so the outbound link, like this link right here, let's change this and say edit with Breezy because I use Breezy on WordPress. Um, I actually pay for them. So I do have an affiliate program with them, you know, so if you guys want to sign up, matter of fact, I'll do something even special. So I actually give you like some of my landing pages. Uh, if you sign up for Breezy under my affiliate link. And if you don't, if you want to know how you can get it, uh, just email me uh, uh, g7business at gmail or, or join the subscriber list and basically I'll send it out in an email. I'll put it in the automatic um, response inside the email for everybody that joins the G7 uh, email list. But for the click URL, you're going to paste that right there. Okay come over here you're gonna paste that right there and so this is gonna tell bmob every person that click on the landing page initially uh, that they're basically is clicking over here and that's gonna allow bmob to track exactly like how many people is clicking on the landing page how far they're clicking like how which people are going through so for the sake of this video I'm gonna actually undo that but and let's go ahead and say that again there. Okay. And what we're going to do now, since we got the campaign URL, let's go over here to Bing. 
for this case scenario here what we're going to do is click create so it's not the hardest thing in the world just click create <laughs> that's it and so what the goals so Bing does have multiple goals uh, so you can drag conversions generate leads uh, build brand awareness uh, sell products promote apps and you can skip so you actually can do video ads now on Microsoft so Microsoft advertising or Bing ads allow you to do video ads now so that's another cool thing that uh, another pretty cool feature that Microsoft allows um, to go on but for this case scenario I want to skip and I want to use search so show your ads on search results uh, pages in response to the query so you can do conversions or leads which is pretty cool uh, and then you could do shopping uh, connect TV uh, connected TV whatever uh, a Microsoft store ads so these ads right here is like let's say if we go over here to Bing uh, come and I say um, battery chargers all right and so these are considered shopping ads right here so these are car battery chargers so I want to narrow that down to like wireless cell phone um, wireless portable charger all right so whole different category here so now we have wireless portable chargers wireless portable chargers for us to shop and browse in between I actually have one I, lo I love my portable charger As you can see you can get multiple different ones that one actually looked like something I would buy right here this tough test I like that oh it's a solar charger too like I know I'm recording a video but I'm genuinely interested I didn't mean to click on it but I was genuinely interested in that one I might come back and buy this one it's fifty dollars um, yeah you can buy chargers and stuff like that and we can set up these type of ads on uh, Bing actually uh, through shopping and let's go back over here to Microsoft and you can do store ads um, so you can actually increase app downloads and then you can do let's say banners and so this is like more audience awareness type ads which is great um, but in our case scenario we're gonna choose search uh, primarily that's what we're using uh, Microsoft ads for is search ads and then we do search click continue and here we can go ahead and do search demo okay so the beautiful thing about Microsoft uh, or I could say search advertising compared to Facebook ads is with Facebook ads you want to start on a low budget but when it comes to uh, Microsoft ads you don't particularly have to start on a low budget the reason you want to start on a low budget with like social media platforms is because you allow AI to kind of like test your um, test your ads in front of the right people and start matching it with the right people so uh, social media that build heavily based on lookalikes so people that's more intrigued more and more intrigued and it puts your ad in certain um, pools of people and and if your ad get inside the right pool of people that's attracting that Facebook is going to deliver your ad to more of those people that's very much like them the difference with being here the beautiful thing with uh, search ads is you don't have to test a low budget you can start off big like if you know your actual keyword and your audience you can start off with a 20 30 40 50 dollar day budget but for me personally I actually like to test certain keyword every campaign each ad group that's what I like to do so sometimes I may do one keyword uh, one campaign one ad group uh, and do at least three or four ads and that's how I personally test why because I like to snipe you know? so I call it like sniping my keywords and that's what I like to do
in this case scenario, I will leave it at $20 a day. It's, that's fine. Uh, and it's really based on your personal budget. So this can go heavily based on your personal budget. How well is your campaign? How much can you afford? And let's say we do 15 to $20 a day, which is fine. Okay. And let's chart, let's choose our specific location. We're going to choose United States, search for United States and choose target. Now this is very, very important, like to pay attention to this in the beginning stages of your campaign. So we're choosing a uh, United States specific location. And once you scroll down here, be sure for targeted traffic only to uncheck this box here. This is very, very important. People searching for or viewing pages about your target location. You definitely want to uncheck this box here and leave this one here so people in. So that means if someone is in South America, Asia, Australia, Europe, Africa, any other continent, they'll be able to see your ad and click on it. The only thing they have to do is be searching for it in the United States. And you don't want that traffic. You want specifically targeted traffic in your targeted location. So that's why I say people in your targeted location only not people searching for viewing pages about your target location, people that's in your target location. Okay. And the second thing is we're going to select languages, English. Uh, you could do all languages. I really re don't recommend that. Like don't do that. Do specifically the language that your ad is designed for. If you're doing Hispanic ads, then I would change this to Spanish. So, um, so I would do, Spanish, or if, you, if I'm targeting, uh, let's say a Latino demographic or things of that nature, which in a campaign I may be doing shortly here in the future. But for the sake of majority of my campaigns, I don't target that, that demographic. I mainly target English speaking users. So I'm gonna uncheck that and auto generate assets or for a responsive search. No, we want to test from scratch where we have complete control. Later on, once we fully test our campaign, that's when we can select this option here. All right, disclaimer, show a disclaimer in the ad for this campaign. Not necessarily, um, it's possible, I mean, you can. That doesn't hurt or affect your ad in no bad manner whatsoever. Dynamic search, meaning allows you to add extra content to your uh, ad, which in some cases, like let's say if we're doing uh, keyword tokens in our ad and we're going super super broad and we're targeting people that's typing in a certain phrase uh, only with laser laser keywords yes we can do this but for all three of these options you will only do them after you tested your campaign fully and came back and now you're in the scaling phase of your campaign so that's the only time you will select these options outside of that Let's go ahead and click save and go to next step. All right, so your website URL, um, I don't even, okay, well, this, so our website URL, we can actually keep our actual landing page here. Um, so let's go to our landing page. I'm gonna copy this and we're going to put our website URL. So don't no need to put that actually there right now. What this is going to do is it's going to read the actual landing page and scrape keywords that's related to the landing page. So in this case scenario, if you worked on your landing page and you develop your landing page well rounded enough, you can go ahead and do that. But in my opinion, no need to really do that whatsoever. All right. So that's the only thing it's going to do is build an ad group and ads around your landing page um, automatically. But we don't want to automate the process. We want to have full control. So we'll go ahead and name the ad group right here. So leave this blank for now and leave this unchecked for now. And so you can say ad group one. And since we're doing rent to own, we can search for rent to own homes and we can type our keyword in right here and it's going to give us a list of keywords shortly here let it load up a 
come on. And let's say we're mainly targeting rent to own here as those keywords pop up. So we're going to say rent to own. And misspells is another thing too. So don't hesitate from misspelling. So like how I misspelled that just now, I, I want those. Rent to own, rent to own home. Rent to own house. In my opinion, this is how I like to build my ad groups. So as I put rent to own here, what I happen is basically it to generate more ad groups for me to target. So I can literally go in and target these ad groups here. But since I don't have anything related to this and the offer is mainly around rent to own, I want to keep it just like this, like literally just like this. So rent to own house near see every misspell as I type a misspell I ignore the fact that I type those misspells why because other people are typing those misspells also so that's what I'm actually betting on that's how you get a lot of low cost traffic um, let me just put that right that's how you get a lot of low cost traffic because a lot of, of your competitors isn't thinking about misspelled words. Okay. So secret, like how to succeed on search. Like if you wanted some secret sauce, that was the secret sauce right there is focus on things that other people aren't focusing on. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to click save, go to next step. And we're going to click create ad here so it's time to create an ad now for the final URL this is super important now I want to go back to bmob and so for that link that we generated inside bmob the campaign URL I'm going to copy this I'm going to come back over here in Bean, and Bing I'm going to paste it right there okay wait 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 wait, wait, wait. I did something miss wrong right quick <laughs> oh my god so we're gonna actually take our landing page url so copy this and we're gonna paste that right there so for the final url it's gonna be pasted right there okay and now we have our domain correct right there and so by default, this landing page is automatically set for like uh, more of a conservative niche. So we're going to rewrite this. We're going to change all this up here. So mobile URL is going to be a little bit different. For the mobile URL, I'm going to come over here and copy this. And we're going to put our tracking link right there. Okay. And there we go right here. And we're gonna click test. So scroll all the way down here. I don't know why I just did that. Uh we'll scroll all the way down here to add URL and test it. Should show a checkbox to show that this alright, so it shows it's a mismatch. So this is our problem. Landing page found, tracking URL found, uh paracheck and that's Ported. All right, finally goes mismatch. So we want to fix this issue. And that's the issue we want to fix. So let's come here, copy this, paste this. Right. 
test it again. And so, still a mismatch in there. Okay. That's no problem. We're going to fix that it's shortly here. So, I'm going to say rent to own home. Okay. The beautiful thing about what they have with AI now. Dreams, homes, fine universe. That's the beautiful thing right here. This is the gorgeous thing. Like this is the most beautiful thing in the world. Bad credit, no worries. It's like you don't even have to get creative no more. Homes made available. Find your new home. Home houses for rent. Boom. Like you really don't even have to rewrite the ad or anything. Open to bad credit. Alright. And now I could click uh, no credit, no problems. Like I can literally just create the ad inside here. That's the beautiful part. Let's take all this out. Come discover a home in this community. Home starting at an affordable price. Find find now the dream home you always wanted. Get drink get your dream house with our sectional properties. Like this is amazing. Rent a home with bad credit or low income. That's the beautiful thing about AI now. It's like you can literally just put in your landing page and it will create the ad copy for you. Search and locate rental homes for a better living. Alright, check available listings to get your new home. So I like this one, check available, because it's like more of a call to action. And that's what we want people to do at the end of the day. Alright, so we still have to figure out what's going on with this thing on ad here. I don't think anything um, bad is on. I think the tracking URL option is fine, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think that is bad. So what we're going to do is we want to click save. Okay, and we have our ad set. And we're going to click save again. We'll scroll down and save. And now what we're going to do is come down to budget. So like I said before, uh, we can keep it at the 15, 20 or even higher is fine. Uh, that's our daily budget options. And so we can kind of keep this there and you can do a hand CPC. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but what I like to do is just keep that there and come down to here for the ad group budget uh, bidding is I always decrease it for a baseline of 30 cents all right don't go like 15 cents or 10 cents and try to get like cheap traffic like just do 30 cents like literally break even with them with 30 cents don't you can do 50 cents but trust me do like 25 30 cents tops 35 cents like it's the best number to start testing at all right choose account and include conversions i mean that's cool you don't need that i don't really need conversion goals um campaign targets i can increase or decrease uh based on conversion rates based on the data that i see inside bma after testing this campaign i will know whether my conversions are coming primarily from computers smartphone or tablet i'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna have great conversions coming from computers Tablets, not the best conversions. Smartphones, you're gonna have great, possibly great conversions coming from smartphones. Uh, you have to test the smartphone traffic. I'm just tell you straight up, to be honest with you. All right, so you can schedule the ad, you could do day partying. Uh, what day partying is, is let's say uh, you know, if you have a call center or you have a local business, or even if you know there's a particular time of the day that you get more conversions, like let's say it's eight to 12, you get the primar your primarily conversions and around one to two, you're just spending money and it's not generating you nothing, then you're not gonna run ads one to two. You're gonna mainly focus on eight to 12. And that's one thing that you would do with day party. Okay, and you can do multimedia ads also, that's cool, so it's like, different type of ads and then ad distribution this is very very important like this is very important here so when it comes to ad distribution uh, the entire Microsoft ad network or Microsoft site and select the traffic so you don't want to do like let's say Microsoft uh, partners too much you kind of want to focus on Microsoft sites 
this is going to be primarily Bing traffic and Yahoo traffic. If you do like the whole network, it's going to be everybody that's partners with Microsoft is going to click on your ad. And that's not going to be too fun. Okay. So you want to select this. So this is super important. Add distribution and do Microsoft sites and select traffic. And now, before you go ahead and click save, you can review everything again uh, here. And now you can click save. And that you guys, all right, got it. We're doing a great policy review. Check your ad keywords, most reviews. All right, so that you guys is initially how you set up a Microsoft ad and or Bing ad. So if you want to learn how to set up um, Bing ads for CPA or Microsoft ads for CPA offers, that's basically how you do it. All right, and with this way, this strategy, strategically setting up your campaign. You don't run into account issues. You don't run into your account being up and down. You don't run into, oh, I got to restart this. I got to redo this. No, you don't run into those things. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this presentation. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the newsletter. I uh, leave the link uh, around this video here. Subscribe to the newsletter. Hope you enjoyed this training today. I will see you in the next one in the future.